One of the more troubling and consequential problems in terms of the environment um, today is the whole issue of microplastics. Uh, recently, there was a study done in the Long Island Sound, a uh, body of water uh, off the North Shore of Long Island, uh, and it talked about the lodging in the soft tissue of people and fish of microplastics. Uh, and the, the problem with microplastic uh, in terms of uh, exa exacerbating the warming of oceans. So two basic concerns here would be the negative effect of the microplastics in terms of uh, fish and then, of course, the consumption of fish by humans, uh, how that would spread to humans. And then also how the uh, increased plastics in the ocean uh, can affect the warming of the ocean. So these are uh, important environmental concerns that we have to uh, explore. Uh, researchers who did this uh, uh, study were from the uh, Staffordshire University in England, the Central Wyoming College, and the Rosalia Project for a Clean Ocean. Uh, and what they did is they took samples every three miles in the Long Island Sound, from New York City all, all the way to the end to Fisher's Island, uh, with a special filter. And this filter captures particles as small as six micrometers, uh, which is thinner than the diameter of a human hair. Uh, the study was begun in 2016 and released early this year, so a study over uh, a period of eight years, so a very thorough study using uh, very good equipment that we wouldn't normally have access to, but uh, they, they did uh, in the study so they could really analyze uh, the uh, effect of the microplastics. They found that there was a high concentration of microplastics at the eastern and the western ends of the sound, uh, which would make sense possibly a bottleneck effect where they would get jammed up there uh, at the beginning and the end of, of the sound, and, and you can see how that could happen. Uh, each year, uh, and this is a remarkable stat, about <coughs> 8 million metric tons of plastic wind up in the oceans. So that's each year. And that is a <coughs> estimate that is done by the Ocean Conservancy. So uh, based on the data that they have seen, uh, and of course we've all seen pictures of uh, huge piles of plastics that wind up on islands uh, in the middle of the ocean. You know, like, you know, there's nobody selling plastic on those islands because there's no people on those islands. So you know that it comes from human beings who dispose of it improperly. Um, what are the negative effects of the plastic ingestion in fish? What have they found with uh, fish consuming the microplastics? <clears throat> Basically, they found that there are structural damages to the intestines, uh, to the liver, uh, to the gills, and to the brain, uh, problems with metabolic balance, problems with behavior and fertility. So definitely significant effects on the life of the fish from consuming these microplastics. Uh, eating the fish also affects human beings. So you might think, well, it's a problem with the fish, no big deal, it's not going to affect me. Uh, microplastics have been detected in human blood, lungs, kidneys, livers, and brains. They even make their way into the placenta and into breast milk. So uh, mother passing it on to child, obviously. So the effect in terms of human beings is uh, real. Uh, and so we have to be concerned, uh, certainly, uh, about this issue and explore ways to stop it. Microplastics have been even found in bottled water, uh, in chicken, honey, eggs, beer, and household dust. So uh, we are consuming the microplastics in our food and uh, our beverages. And also it is being you know, surrounding us in in our homes. A uh, study in the New England Journal of Medicine on this issue, patients who had microplastics in the arterial plaque 
uh, which is a buildup of substances that line the wall of the arteries, were four and a half times more likely to experience a stroke or a heart attack. <clears throat> so again, this would be a significant increase, four and a half times more likely. Uh, this is not just a, uh, a simple problem where it has a minor effect on people, but certainly a major effect. Uh, and they are uh, more likely to die in the three years after their uh, artery uh, clearing surgeries. So they're much more likely to pass away uh, as a result of consumption of the microplastics. Some of the studies that have been done uh, are really inadequate in the sense that most use net toes, which can catch pieces as small as 300 micrometers. Uh, human hair ranges from 20 to 200 micrometers. Uh, if you use uh, Raymond microscopy, which is a chemical uh, analysis technique, uh, Water was examined from the three different locations uh, off the Venezuelan coast, off the Gulf Coast, and the Pacific Arctic, and they found that 60% of the particles in seawater were smaller than 5 micrometers. Some were as small as 1 micrometer, about the size of a typical bacterium. So these microplastics can be extremely small, hard to detect, uh, but the <coughs> the Raymond uh, microspectroscopy, uh, this chemical analysis technique, can find them uh, and detect them much better. So they are really much more prevalent than former studies and typical studies will let us know. The effects of the microplastics spread to the entire marine ecosystem and even to planetary health. So this is uh, becoming a real health concern. Uh, what about the warming of the ocean effect? Plastics in the water absorb heat, which exacerbates the warming of the oceans. Uh, this causes die-offs of marine species and coral bleaching uh, around the globe various places. The warming effect of plastics is melting the snow more quickly. This accelerates the feedback loop of global heating. So you can see what's happening here, that uh, the warming that is caused by the plastics is just the cycle that is created. Uh, the plastic that is found in uh, Long Island Sound comes in large part, uh, very interestingly, from clothes that have been washed. So the filters uh, in our water system, the microplastics, <coughs> are so small that they go through them and they go into the sound. So even the very clothes that we are wearing and that we are washing, you wouldn't think that this would be something that would uh, affect us, but it, it, it's found in the Long Island Sound. What does this say about our current situation? Really, the issue is the need to move away from plastics. Uh, this we hear over and over again in so many ways. Uh, we, we see large piles of plastics uh, in third world countries that have been shipped there by so-called developed countries. Uh, we say how much better we are, right? We, we have all of these wonderful things at our disposal. Uh, a lot of them made by plastics. And so now we're seeing the damage that is done by plastics. <clears throat> in terms of microplastics, but in terms of large amounts of plastic pollution. So the need to move away from that is really an urgent need. Uh, Pope Francis in his encyclical Laudato C has called for an ecological conversion. Uh, he has said in Laudate Deum, his latest letter on the environment, that we have not really taken the message seriously from Laudato C. Uh, it is business as usual for most people. Instead of looking at this and saying, well, wait a minute, we're creating all this plastic, uh, and what are we doing with it? A lot of it's winding up in the ocean. Now, microplastics are found in our soil, or lakes, or fish, or animals, and human beings, and will have a negative effect on not only the health of human beings, but the health of our planet. 
Uh, so it is something that we have to look at, you know, both certainly individually and say, well, what can I do to use less plastics and move away from plastics entirely? And then what can we do as a society to move away from plastics? Uh, the negative impact of the plastics is just too great. And of course, originally plastics for convenience, uh, much easier to transport, uh, less damage in terms of breakage from glass, all of the, you know, a lot of good benefits, supposedly. Uh, but then we have to take a step back and say, well, wait a minute. Uh, are these good benefits being outweighed by what we see in our society today? And I think the answer is quite frankly, yes. And so we must take another look at this. Uh, it becomes a, a moral issue, a moral choice, uh, because we want to ensure the health of our planet for future generations. Uh, and we want to make sure that not only human life is cherished, but the life of the entire planet, the life of animals and the life of our lakes, and our oceans, uh, our streams, our soil, uh, all of that is incumbent upon us. Uh, so we have to take a, a really serious look at this and move away from our use of plastics.